couple of months ago, I did a tutorial on how to get smooth skin with generative fill in beta. Now that it's out of beta, I've refined the technique and I think I'm getting quicker, better, and easier results. Let's check it out. Here we are with our first example, but let's set up quick mask before we do anything else. So we'll go over here and double click on it. I've got it to selected areas. I haven't changed the color and the opacity is at 30%. That's important. So let's hit OK. We'll go over here to our quick selection tool and we want just the face. We don't need anything else. So let's remove any bits of hair here. We'll remove the part around her ear. It's not important. We'll go around her chin. There, that's all we need to work on. So now that we've got our selection, hit Q for quick mask. Now hit B for your brush. Make sure your flow is 100%. Now let's keep what's uniquely hers. So let's keep her eyes, and her eyebrows, both sides. We'll keep her nostrils, the tip of her nose, and we'll keep her mouth. That's all uniquely hers, and it doesn't need to be touched. Make sure we got a good selection there. Now, hit Q again, and we've got our selection. If you need to refine it, just hit Q again. Need to grab a little more of the eyebrows here. All right, now let's go up to Generative Fill, Smooth, Skin, comma, space, skin, tone in, enter. All right, we've got our three selections here. Nope. That's amazing. And that's not. I'm choosing number two. So what we'll do is we'll remove number three, number one to save file space. Click on the mask. Okay, we'll go up to image and apply image. We'll just leave everything the way it is and hit OK. Now, OK, we'll make sure our brush is white. We'll make sure our flow is 25 and we'll just go over the areas we need to go over. And we'll just remove the acne where it is. Up top here a bit. A little bit by our nose. Now, if you want to correct anything, just paint black. By her nose here. Now let's zoom in. You see there's a bit here, so we'll reduce our brush. Make sure it's white. And we'll paint it in. We'll go down here. And we'll just paint it in. Now let's reduce our brush to about five. And we'll be painting black, make it a little bit larger, and let's get rid of any sort of chin line or anything else that might be showing up. As you can see, we have a little bit of a line here. Let's just remove that. Zoom out. Now let's check everything out. Before, after. Now, if you still want to refine some more, Make sure you're painting white, and let's just go over a couple of spots you might have seen. One on her nose, a bit here and here. Excellent skin tone, real quick. Cool. All right, in the second example here, we've got a selfie of yours truly here, looking like I had a rough night. So what we're going to do is we're going to improve his skin. So we'll do the same method, quick selection tool, and let's just grab his face. We don't need hair or anything else. So we'll remove this down here. We don't need to fix any hair or anything. So now Q for quick mask, B for brush, make sure your flow is 100%. And let's bring back what's uniquely mine. So we'll bring back the eyes corner of the eye and stuff, a little bit of eyebrows there, eyebrows on the other side, the other eye, just the stuff 
that's uniquely the person's. So we'll do the nostrils, the tip of the nose. Make our brush a little bit larger. Let's grab the goatee and any sort of facial hair. All right, looks like we have good selection of what's uniquely mine in here. Q, and we've got our selection. So let's go to generative fill, smooth, skin, comma, space, skin, toning, enter. We got number one, number two, that's not looking good. Number three, oh, well, that's worse. So let's hit generate again. And we got some smooth skin going on. Number two. Number three. I think I'm going to choose number two. We'll remove all the others to save file space. But as you can see, there's a few things that we want to fix. So let's hit layer mask, go to image and apply image. Leave everything where it is, hit OK. Now, that brings back more of me. So what we can do now, on your brush, hit your flow to 25%. Bring it down your brush a bit. Make sure you're painting with black. And let's just remove anything we don't want. There's a little bit of eyebrows and stuff here that I don't have, actually. But the skin is smooth, and I really like it. So you can go too far, and you can see where it was originally. So let's go back and paint that back in again. I just want that one thing removed. And the skin is looking a little more fresher than it was. Now you can see there's a line up around my head where the selection was. So let's bring our flow down to 5 or 10%. I'll put it at 10%. And let's just go around and remove that line. It's not necessary. Make sure you're working with the mask. So I look a little more fresh than I did before. Great skin and skin toning. Before, after. Very cool. Well, as you can see by both pictures here, I think I'm getting much better results, quicker and easier than I was before. If this video helped you at all, please like and subscribe. You won't break any ale. I'm Don from Photo 911. See ya.